There are people that are going through hell. There are people that their poverty is a lot lower than what that we describe now. But it doesn't mean that it's not under 100% supervision of Hashem in Barach. They need to go through that. And if you're going to give them a million dollars, I promise you it's not going to change their life. It's not going to change their life. If a person needs to suffer, he's going to suffer. And if Hashem Barach measured and Hashem Barach decided that there is a certain amount of suffering that that person requires, he needs it, must go through it for his tikkun to achieve completion in his Avodat Hashem, to find Hashem in the end of that process, to come to a certain level of humility, if he will not going to go through that, he will not going to make it. And if he will try to avoid it, he will find himself suffering from another angle, from another side, from another way. Like the time Israel were whining, how are we going to make it? We're thirsty, we need to drink. Okay, you want to drink, no problem. Now you're going to walk for 40 years in the desert. Instead of crossing the desert in six days, in three days, just to finish it, and just they could be there in Eretz Israel. But they were whining and arguing and complaining and making Hashem Yitbarach, Midat Adin, angry. Okay, so now they need to pay for that anger, for the result of their actions. So when you see that you have judgments, when you see that you have difficulties, you need to understand it's coming only because of your lack of faith. Because if you would have those sunglasses, those glasses, to see the light of Hashem Barach, to see the supervision, that those are your troubles, you would dance with those troubles. Those are not troubles. That is not a trouble, that is not a problem. That is not something that you should fight for because of. That is not something that you need to cry because of. Because look how many other things you have in life. Look how many other things you have in life during that suffering that you have. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator. To remember that it's all Him. Never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks.